It's Wednesday, October 1st, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Clashes broke out in the Greek capital Athens on Tuesday as members of a Roma community rioted against the planned demolition of their camp. Almost 200 Roma set fire to furniture, tires, and garbage bins and blocked the main road in the suburb of Kalandri, preventing police from entering to bulldoze homes. The Roma have been squatting in the area for the last 40 years. Authorities want to move them to a settlement outside of Athens, but a spokesman for the community claims the area where they would be transferred is too cold and doesn't have basic amenities. Myanmar wants to give conditional citizenship to 1.1 million Rohingya people, but the consequences of refusing the offer are concerning. Under the initiative, members of the Muslim minority would be granted citizenship only if they reclassify themselves as Bengali. Those who refuse or don't have the appropriate documents would be placed in so-called temporary camps. Myanmar's foreign minister made the first public reference to the plan at the UN General Assembly on Monday. Human rights groups fear it would drive more people from their villages, adding to the almost 140,000 Rohingya displaced by ethnic violence and living in squalid camps. A school in southern Poland is feeding underprivileged children with food that was meant to be exported to Russia. Moscow announced a one-year embargo on Western food products after it was hit by sanctions for aggravating Ukraine's conflict. Many farmers who receive assistance from the EU because of the ban have donated their products to food banks, one of which has supplied the school with the extras. Poland has one of the strongest economies in the region, but poverty in some parts of the country leaves more than half a million children malnourished. The likelihood is that that's due to a lot of human interference. So One of the world's biggest environmental groups says we're largely to blame for the sharpest decline in wildlife populations ever recorded. According to a report released by the World Wildlife Fund, the numbers have dropped by more than a half over the course of 40 years. Data was analyzed from some 10,000 populations of mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish. The report lists habitat destruction and climate change as the worst offenders. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world.